Hello to everyone. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. So can everyone listen to me? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. So welcome to the ones that are already here. Thank you very much for always being on time. I appreciate your punctuality, okay? Thank you very much for that. Now, um, as usual, guys, today we're going to, well, I am going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic, which means that what we saw yesterday, I will ask you some questions about it. So what do you guys remember about yesterday's class? We saw vocabulary about colors. So let me ask you, which are the three primary colors that we have in any of the languages? Red, blue, and green. Red, blue, and green. Correct. Those are the three primary colors. Now, do we have any difference in pronunciation or spelling with the word color? Can yes. Tell me if we have a difference. Estados Unidos, colors, England, colors. Okay, so we, we do have a difference. Okay, so it's the pronunciation and the spelling. Now, do we have any other difference with the color Greece? Is there any difference with that? Yes. What is the difference? So La escritura, pero la pronunciación es la misma. Exactly. We say gray, gray, but we only change one letter. So thank you so much for that. Now, another question. Let's see. Uh, just, let me check here. How do we say, um, let me see. It's not working. How do we say uh, morado? Does anyone know how do we say that? How do we say morado? Purple. Purple, correct. Thank you, uh, Jessica. How do we say um, café? Brown. Brown. Brown, correct. Now, how do we say um, turquesa? Turquoise. Mm, yeah, I mean, do turquoise. You have turquoise. Turquoise. turquoise, correct. The pronunciation, <laughs> it changes a little bit. So turquoise, thank you very much. Now, how do we say, let's say, um, let me see. Let me check this out. How do we say celeste? Can is anyone tell me any of the options that we have to say, Celeste? Baby blue. Baby blue, we can say that. Can someone tell me another option? Light, Light blue. blue. Light, Light blue. blue, correct. Now, how do we say verde oscuro? Does anyone of you remember that? Verde oscuro. Dark green. Dark green, correct. We have that option. Do we have any other option? Light green. Mm, light green, that is not verde oscuro. That is um, verde claro, light green. Yeah, deep. Deep, we can say deep, deep what? Deep green. Deep green, yeah, that's another option that we can say um, verde oscuro or in that case, verde intenso, which is the same thing. Now, uh, remember guys, as you, I just want to remember you that tomorrow we have practice, right? So please be ready, be ready for the practice. Uh, remember, the practice is going to be about everything that we have seen till now. So today is our 12th class. El día de hoy es nuestra clase número 12, 12. So, uh, which means, lo que significa que solo nos quedan 
Cuatro clases más. No, actually five. Cinco. Five more classes and then the module is going to be over. El módulo se nos termina. Okay, so that's the reason why we are going to have practice tomorrow. So you can kind of refresh. Pueden refrescar aquello que ya olvidaron. Or also we are going to try to remember the pronunciation of some things that you probably forget it already. So be ready for tomorrow, please. In case you are not attending to the class, let me know during the day so uh, I can feel your attendance. See, se, le, se les va a poner ahí la asistencia, even though you are not going to be present, okay? But let me know in advance. So uh, let me show you what is going to be today's class. Today, guys, we are going to go with grammar. El día de hoy vamos a ver un poquito de gramática and also a little bit of vocabulary. So, uh, as you can see here, I don't know if everyone, can you see the presentation, guys? No. No? Oh, let me see. I don't know what's going on right here. It's, it's kind of weird. Can you see it now? No. No yet? No. no. Really, that's weird. Because in my, in my computer, oh. No, no, yes. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. <laughs> yes. I was, yes. was just waiting for the approval here. Okay, now, perfect. So as you can see there, guys, today is our 12th class. And, well, today uh, we're going to try to learn about possessive pronouns. Do you guys remember that like two weeks ago, hace dos semanas, vimos possessive adjectives? Yes. So which are the possessive adjectives? Alguien se acuerda? My. My. Her. Her is. Yes, they, okay. They. Our. Our. For, for, I'm sorry. Our, our, yes. Your, 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 their. Your. Okay. All right. So here we have. So. Oh my God! This is kind of slow today. So want to work. All right. So today we're going to see something that is pretty similar. Un poco similar. Pretty similar, but it's not obviously the same. So today, instead of uh, possessive adjectives, today we're going to have possessive pronouns, which means that it's going to be a little bit different. Possessive pronouns, guys, how do we use them? First of all, let's try to have a small definition about what a possessive adjective or possessive pronoun, I'm sorry, what a possessive pronoun is. So just let me go ahead and try to check this here and let's move it on. All right, so can I have a volunteer to help me reading this part? If you want to participate, say me. Nobody? Me, teacher. Yeah, yeah teacher. But who was me? Patricia or who? Jessica or who was it? Uh, Patricia. Okay, Patricia, go ahead. Help me, please. Uh, what are possessive pronoun? Pronoun? Mm -hmm. Pronoun. Pronoun. Mm -hmm. A possessive pronoun is one of the words my, yours, hers, his, ours, or theirs, mm -hmm. which are used is in, instead. Just say it, say it. Even though it's not correct, I will read it later on. 
of a, no, a noun to show that one person or thing below, belongs to another and to avoid repetition. Okay. So as it says here, thank you very much, Patricia. As it says, a possessive pronoun is one of the words, mine, yours, hers, his, ours, theirs, which are used instead of a noun to show that one person or thing belongs to another and avoid repetition. So what does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Que los possessive pronouns, we are going to use them. Los vamos a utilizar para evitar repetir. To avoid repetition. Evitar repetición. Avoid repetition. So that's going to be pretty much the, the main characteristic of possessive pronouns. But as you can see, they are pretty similar. Se parecen mucho a los que vimos anteriormente, que eran possessive adjectives. Now, uh, what is going to be the difference? ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia? As you can see, it's only a letter S, una letra S, which is, which is pretty much the difference that we have. Now, let's go ahead and verify here the patterns or some examples that we can have. Here, I would like to have Rebecca here, Rebecca for the first line. Yes, teacher. Uh, Go ahead, Rebecca. I have a cat. I have a cat. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, this same sentence, ¿cómo le llamamos a esto de acá? What's the name of this one here? No les escucho bien porque hay un micrófono abierto, teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I think it is it is off. So what's the name or how do we call these ones here? ¿Cómo le llamamos a esto? Personal pronoun. Personal. Correct. Now, the same sentence here, we are going to use a possessive adjective. It's my cat. Now, para vol evitar volver a repetir, Una palabra, yo solo digo, es mío. En este caso, possessive pronoun. It's mine. Es mío. ¿El que es mío? ¿Qué estoy evitando repetir una vez más? Can anyone have an idea? Cat. Cat. Cat, of course. Estoy evitando. I'm avoiding the repetition of the word cat. Because I, I could say it's my cat. My cat. My cat. So it's so repetitive. Demasiado repetitivo. So instead of saying cat a lot of times, in English, we use a possessive pronoun, which is going to avoid to repeat a word. Another characteristic. As you can see, possessive adjectives are, siempre se van a encontrar at the beginning, antes que un noun. El possessive pronoun casi siempre va a ser at the end, al final. So that's another characteristic. So now, uh, Jorge Luis, can you please go ahead and read line number two horizontal? Yes. You have a cat. It's your cat. It's yours. Okay, now this one we say, you have a cat. It's your cat. Es tu gato. It's yours. Es tuyo. Now, instead of repeating cat again, we're just using a possessive pronoun. And that's simple as that. Another thing, guys, is very important that you make the pronunciation of the letter S clear. Because it's not the same if you say your, that if you say yours. Will you listen to the sound of the letter S? That's very important. Why? Because pronunciation or even spelling is pretty much the same. Like very, very similar. What's the difference? Only the letter S. So that letter S makes a huge difference. Why? Because we have to make the pronunciation of the letter S. 
Now, can I have a volunteer for line number three? Your teacher. Elena, go ahead. We have a cat. It's our cat. Mm -hmm. It's ours. Okay, the, this one is our, our, ours. Our. Thank you very much. Now, can I have another person? Thank you very much, Elena, for participating. My teacher. Luis, thank you very much. Felix. Go ahead, Felix. They have a cat. It's their cat. It's theirs. Okay, theirs. Make, make sure, Felix, make sure that you pronounce the letter S at the end. Make sure of that. Theirs. Thank you very theirs. much. Theirs. Theirs, exactly. Thank you. Now, can I have another volunteer? Yes. Yes. Julio, no. go ahead, Julio, and then I don't know if I heard Didana probably. Is, was that you? Sí, yes. Okay. okay, so let's go with Didana and then we go with Julio. She has a mm -hmm. cat. Mm -hmm. It's her cat. It's hers. Hers. Thank you very much. Julio, go ahead, please. She has a cat. Mm -hmm. It's his cat. It's cat. It's his. It's his. Okay. Now, here, este es el verbo tener. Verbo have. Verb have. Tener. Nuestro nombre personal, I, you, we, they, lo utilizamos así. Have. 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 Only, solamente para tercera persona, cambia. And we change it, we use has. So, si queremos decir ella tiene o él tiene, has. But then the other personal pronouns are going to be have, 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 have. Okay, so let's, let's pay attention to those things. Now, with these examples that we have right now, do you guys have any questions so far? Not at all. Ooh. Great, so let's move on then. Now, let's see. I need you guys to help me write in here. Let's see, uh, I will ask someone around. Uh, Jancy. Oh, Jancy, are you there? Jancy? Well, she's probably not there. Let me just try to get someone else. Oswaldo Stanley, are you there? Yes. Okay, from this list, de esta lista, can you tell me the first personal? I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Um, let me have another person. Juan, are you there? Mm. Yes. All right, so Juan, can you tell me what are the possessive pronouns in this one? From this list, of course. Possessive. From the first line, de la primera línea, cual? Which one do you think it is a possessive pronoun? Yours. Yours, okay. Oh, Which yeah. one? Theirs, okay. From set from line number two, which ones? Ours. Ours. It's. It's. All right. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Now let me see. Um, we have Benny has a tent. Benny tiene una tienda de acampar. A tent. ¿Cómo diríamos es su? Can you please? Your. We're gonna we're gonna Your. do a practice. Let's see. Um, let me see. Can you please go ahead and the chat? Todos en el chat, por favor, podrían escribirme. Can you please type the answers, las respuestas de estas dos from these two and from these two? 
Go ahead, please. I will be checking them on the chat, but on the chat here from the call, in La Llamada, no en WhatsApp, okay? Here on the chat. Okay, the first one, Patricia, she's saying yours, okay? Jorge Luis is saying his, Oswald is saying your, yours. Okay, yours, Julio. Juan, it's your, Jessica his, Elena his, Beatriz his. Okay, Patricia his, Wilfredo his, Francisco yours. Yours, his. Okay, I think that we have pretty much, let's see. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you guys that at least for this one, los que eligieron it is his. And this part, let me see. Let me just write that down here. The answer is his. It's his. But in this one, it's the same. So, what is the difference? Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? ¿Alguien me podría decir cómo notarían ustedes cuál es cuál? I said that before, but I just want to see if you paid attention to that. The position or the positive pronoun? The position of the positive pronoun. Okay. Makes sense. Someone else? Someone else have uh, any other idea? Pronunciation, say it's saying Jorge Luis. Well, not really, because we say he's his. We pronunciate them the same way. So we don't have a different pronunciation in that case. But thanks for trying. Someone else? Alguna idea? I said it before. Sustituye el posesivo, sustituye el, el pronombre posesivo, sustituye el objeto. Okay, so in, in this case, ¿Cómo asegurarían ustedes, for example, in this one, how would you um, assure that in this case, este de acá es que, this one right here is possessive pronoun or possessive adjective? It's adjective. Adjective. Why, why is adjective, adjective and not because pronoun? Because because the possessive pronoun is the end of the sentence. Excellent. That's one of the characteristics. The possessive pronoun is going to be at the end of the sentence. Another characteristic of a possessive adjective is that next to the possessive adjective, vamos a tener un noun. So here, automaticamente, automatically, we can understand that this one, it's a possessive adjective and this one right here, a possessive pronoun. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for exercise number two for this one right here. Necesito que me escriban uno, respuesta, dos, respuestas. So I can verify who is doing correct. Go ahead, please. Do it the same on the chat. Okay, so I have here Juan, I have Jorge Luis, I have Patricia, Juan, okay, Jessica, Beatriz, Elena, okay. Oh, Irse. Jensi, what do you mean by Irse? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so I can see here some of your answers. Now let's go ahead and Julio, I can see yours too, Francisco. Okay, I can see so many people participating. Now let's go ahead and try to find out what's the answer. Here we have, it is hair. It is her piggy bank. This one, hairs. Hairs. 
This one right here is pretty obvious. It's muy obvio. Why? Because we know that a possessive pronoun, it will have a letter S. That's pretty easy. So thank you very much for the ones that were, you know, giving uh, your answers there in the chat. Thank you very much for that. Now let's go ahead and let's move on to another part. One, let's see. Let's... Let me just move to this part. So I'm going to erase this one right here and we're going to move on. All right, so here we have some other, uh, some other examples in this case. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a small explanation. Once again, it says a possessive, possessive pronoun uh, places, you see, replaces a possessive adjective. Reemplaza un possessive adjective plus a noun to avoid repeating information that is already clear. So here we have, tenemos aquí un ejemplo very, very clear. This book is my book, not your book. Si se fijan, estoy repitiendo doblemente. I'm repeating the same word. So diciendo, este libro es mi libro, no tu libro. So, so repetitive. Demasiado repetitivo. So what do we do? Para evitar volver a repetir book, las tres veces, yo vengo y digo, this book is mine, not yours. Aquí suena más natural. Y estoy diciendo lo mismo, este libro es mío, no tuyo. So it's pretty much like that. That's the reason why we most of the time are going to use a possessive pronoun to replace a possessive adjective. Now, let me see. I'm going to give you a number and you are going to help me read the sentences that we have here. Now, we're going to start with Felix, number one, and Julio, number two, Francisco Martinez, number three. Let's go with Christian, number four. Oscar Tomasino, number five. Jancy Andrea, six. Didan Araceli, seven. Eh, Elena, eight. Eh, Oswaldo, nine. Rebecca, ten. Jorge Luis, eleven. Then we go with Patricia, twelve. Juan, thirteen and Jessica 14. So let's go ahead, please. Okay. My chair is green. Okay. Now, Your book is new. Your book is new, okay, number three. Your book is new. No, 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 that's that's number two. This one right here, number three. His pillow is soft. Okay, number four. Her, her dog is small. Okay, Christian. Are you there, Christian? Well, I guess Christian is not there once again, so. Let's go to the next one. Yes. Um, each bone is old. Okay. Who is the next one? Our bees is noise. Okay. Who is the next one? Who is the next one, guys? Elena. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please, Elena. Your house is big. Okay, Oswaldo. Uh, we're we're gonna change we're gonna change orders because there's some of your classmates that are not participating. So let's do it. Uh, their car is slow. 
Okay, thank slow. you, Oswaldo. Rebecca, let's go with this one. Rebecca? Well, she's not there, probably. Jorge Luis, let's go with you. The shirt is mine. Okay, thank you. Now, Patricia. Um, the book is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Juan Piñate. The pillow is his. Thank you. Jessica. The dog, dog is hers. Now, uh, Wilfredo Gonel. They, uh, they beat is all. Ours. Ours. Oh, oh. Okay. Now, uh, let's see Beatriz. The house is yours. Okay. Now, and the last one, the car is theirs. Now, let me ask you a question, guys. Uh, is there any word of the vocabulary that we have here that you do not understand? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no entiendan? Or would you like to know the meaning of any one of those? All of them are clear. Todas son understandable. Yes, noise. Noisy, noisy. When we say noise, es ruido. When we say noisy, ruidoso. So when we say our bird is noisy, nuestro pájaro es ruidoso. Very noisy. Okay, so that's... Sure. Yes. Uh, why we don't use it as a possessive pronoun? Oh, why don't we use it here? Because in this case, uh, for example, most of the time, la mayoría de veces se va a utilizar eh, as possessive pronoun, no podemos de decir eh, que es suyo de eso. So, or suyo de un animal. So sometimes, like in, English, in Spanish, we understand. I mean, in Spanish, we use different things, or in this case, we can use a possessive pronoun. But in English, it's never possible because it sounds weird. And because of phonetic or phonetica, we never use a possessive pronoun, it's in this case, it's never. Another reason is because the possessive adjectives is it's. So we cannot double repeat the same word. So we cannot say here it's and here we cannot say it's. So we 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 will we won't have a difference. Not no tendríamos una diferencia. So that's the reason why most of the time we avoid using a possessive pronoun it. Okay, thank you. All right, so if there's no any other question, I'm going to move on to the part N. In this case, guys, I will ask you to work at home with your pencil, con lapis or lapicero, necesito que escriban las palabras con corrigiendo los errores, finding the mistakes. Las tres oraciones, then you take a picture, as a proof, como prueba, and then you send it through the WhatsApp group, okay? So you will have right now, let me check. Déjame eso, lo vas a hablar. You will have uh, three minutes, tres minutos maximum, okay? So go ahead right now, guys, you have the time. If you do not understand any words, si no entienden alguna palabra, please let me know. Other than that, I cannot help, see? It's clear. Well, I hope it is. I will take your selling as a yes. Papa. 
Remember that I just want you to find the mistake because there's one mistake. So you just correct the mistake and that's it. That's the only thing that you have to do. I can listen to someone typing or something, some sort of document. Can you please turn your microphone off because we can listen to what you're doing. Are you having any problem, any situation? No. Teacher, tenía yes. problemas de sonido y no escuché qué íbamos a hacer. Okay, in this case, what we're going to do is just to find the mistake. Correct the mistake. I mean, in... In all of them, in todas las oraciones, hay un error. So I need you to find the mistake, encontrar el error, and correct it, corregirlo. Ah, okay. Solo, solo un error tienen todas, chicha. Yes, one, just one. That is enough time, guys. Time's up. El tiempo se ha terminado. So please, if you finish or not, si lo terminó, no, it's okay. This is just practice. Just for me to verify. Solo para verificar if you're getting some things or not. Okay, so please, go ahead and send what you have. And bien ahorita lo que tienen. If you finish it, okay. If you didn't, Okay, it's okay. Just send whatever you have. And once you once you sent it, una vez via, let me know. Sí, me lo hacen saber. Déjeme eso, déjeme eso, no me toque nada, pues. Can you please turn your microphone off? We can listen to everything you're saying. Turn your microphone off, please. Hello. Can you please turn your microphone off?
Well, I don't know if you cannot listen to me or. Okay, did you finish, guys? Did you send it? Oh, um, I see who is. We'll, oh, okay, now it's off. Did you send it, guys? Si ya lo enviaron? Yes. Yes. Who said yes? Who, or Juan, Jorge Luis? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Who else? Si yes. Lo, it's okay. If you didn't, it's okay. Si lo no lo terminó, it's okay too. Don't worry about it. So it's just practice. Patricia, you said something? Okay, great. Okay, it's okay, no problem. It's okay. Did someone else? Solo tengo cuatro confirmaciones. Well, three. Tres confirmaciones. Los demás? Yes. Okay, Julio said yes. Who else? No, sorry, teacher. No, it's okay, Jessica. Felix, did you send it already? Pero no sé por qué. Eh, no le comprendí muy bien, pero he tratado de buscar. Creo que una palabra es el, el error, de usted, ¿verdad? Yes, one. Eh, it's no okay. Si había, que escribir, había que escribir toda la, toda la, 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 lo que está aquí y ponerle o arreglarla. No sé cómo. I mean, just correct it. Solo corregirla. That's it. It's okay. Oh, ah, ah, pues no, no, que yo solo había sacado la, el error. No, eh, it's okay. It's eh, okay. Primero, he, my, verdad. El segundo, my, y eh, el tercero había puesto his. Okay. Oh, okay, let's see. Let me see. Juan. Juan Peñate. Are you there? Juan, hello. Hola, hola. Yes, I can listen to you now. What is the mistake you found on sentence number one? ¿Cuál es el error que tú encontraste? What's the one you found? Yo creo que es la primera palabra en his. Es his. solamente. Uh -huh. Ok, for you, that's the. Para ti es el, el error. Ok, thank you. Now, let me see. Uh, Jorge Luis, what is you in number one? Better. <clears throat> Better. Ok, thank you very much. Julio, what is the mistake for you in number one? I think is his. His, okay. Thank uh, because. you. Now let's go with uh, Oswaldo Stanley. What do you <laughs> think is the mistake in number two? Uh, R. R, okay. Now let's see Rebecca. Are you there, Rebecca? Yes, teacher. What is the mistake for you in sentence number two? Uh, my my okay Beatriz what is the mistake for you in sentence number two my mine okay and the last person Didana what do you think is the mistake in sentence number three no la terminé teacher eso you didn't. Okay, Francisco, what about you? Solo la primera estuve quebrándome la cabeza ahí. It's okay, don't este, worry about it. It's okay este, now. En uh, de pintar panning con, con la S tengo mi duda y, y colorful. Okay. Con doble L para <laughs> mí. O sea, eso es okay, okay. That's valid. Now, Julio, what about you for number three? What do you think is the, the mistake there? Uh, he. He. This one here? Yeah. Okay. Do you agree, uh, Jorge Luis? Está de acuerdo? Do you agree? Mm -hmm. What? 
Julio said that for him, this is the mistake. This one right here. Now, do you agree? Estás de acuerdo with what he said? Con lo que él acaba de decir? Mm, no. Or, or what is the mistake for you? Far? Far. Okay. Now, let me give you the answers. Déjenme darles las respuestas a todos. Now, let's see. Aquí tenemos his paintings. Estamos hablando de sus pinturas. ¿Sí? Entonces, aquí está bueno. Este es un possessive adjective. ¿Por qué yo tengo painting a la par? Que es un noun. Entonces, his paintings were well. colorful. Hasta ahí estamos bien. But I liked hers. Hers paintings better. ¿Cuál es el error? Paintings. Paintings. ¿Qué? Porque estamos volviendo a repetir la palabra. Y aquí tenemos un possessive pronoun que lo utilizamos para no repetir la misma palabra. So, entonces yo digo, but I like hers better. Pero me gustan las de yes. mejor. So, el error es paintings. Now, in number two, this, is, this one right here is very easy. Esta de acá está muy fácil. El error es mine. En vez de mine, utilizamos cuál? My. 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 Correct. M-Y. La letra M y la letra Y. My. My eyes are the color blue. That's it. Now, sí, sí. number three. Yes. Una no, no cuestión. Este, yes. My eyes are the color blue. Es que mm -hmm. yo lo, lo, lo más o menos lo, lo traduje, pero en mi mente, ¿verdad? Como, mis ojos son el color azul. Entonces, no, yo pensé que el error era, era, era ese y era otro también. Por eso es, eh, se puede decir de las dos formas. Eh, I don't understand. Can you repeat it again? Puedes repetirlo de nuevo. It's... My eyes are the color blue. Mm -hmm. Cuando yo lo, 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 lo leo así, lo entiendo como mis ojos son el color azul. El color azul. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y este... Other question? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Okay. In this case, when, when we translate that, it sounds, eh, cuando lo traducimos literalmente, no tiene sentido, right? Because it says el color azul. Right. It, mis ojos son el color azul. Um, in this case, guys, uh, are the color blue It's just, no lo traducimos eh, literalmente, sino que sentido interpretativo. <coughs> so, uh, bless you, Didana. I heard that you sneeze. So, um, well, so that's, that's what I was saying, Jorge Luis. Uh, no lo traducimos de manera literal, sino lo interpretamos. That's why we say, mis ojos son color azul. So that da, ese de ahí, ese da, de ahí solamente está enfatizando el color. No, el, no lo traducimos de manera literal. Porque si lo traducimos de manera literal, no tiene sentido. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, let's go and let's try to find the mistake in number three. ¿Cuál es el error? I like listening to Bruno Mars more than Michael. Michael Jackson. But, his, aquí estaba el error. So, his, sus movimientos de baile, his dance moves are far from iconic. Están lejos de icónicos. Are far more iconic. So, this one was a mistake. Ese era el error ahí. Now, with the information, guys, that we have, Do you have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Teacher, ¿podría repetir el error de la última, por favor? This one here. His. Instead of mm -hmm. 
lugar de he, we use his. Oh, gracias. Thank you. So, any question, the others? Is it clear? Dudas, interrogantes. Yo tengo mm. una duda. Yo What's your doubt? En la mm. primera, eh, este, por ejemplo, está hablando de sus patines, pero de él. Entonces, cuando dice hers, Perdón, sus pinturas. Cuando dice ah, okay. sus pinturas de ella, ahí me confundí. O sea, pensé que en vez de hers era his de nuevo, porque estábamos hablando de las pinturas de él. Uh, ok, I understand. Sí, puede ser un poco confuso. Y aquí es donde entran las reglas de puntuación. Why? Because we have a coma there. Esa pequeña coma me dice que hasta ahí llega una oración. Luego, tenemos otra oración. Y eso es lo que nos puede confundir. That can be a little bit confusing. Why? Because it makes sense. Tiene sentido, Patricia. Because here, you have his paintings. Sus pinturas. Ok, makes sense. ¿Y cómo es que aquí metimos hers? Porque aquí, esta coma me hace decir, ok, I was talking that his paintings were very colorful. Hasta ahí, yo estaba diciendo que sus pinturas son muy coloridas. Hago una pausa y digo, pero, ya ahí, a partir de ahí, yo, yo meto otra persona. Ya no estoy refiriéndome a las de él. So that's why I say by, but I like hers. Pero me gustan o me gustaron las de ella mejor. So that's why. So in this case, Lo único que nos está haciendo la diferencia ahí son los signos de puntuación that in this case is a coma. That's the only thing. Okay. All right, so thanks for asking those questions. Okay, so I don't know if someone else has any other question. No sé si hay alguna otra pregunta o are we clear? Okay, so I guess there's no question, so I'm going to move on. Um, we're going to see quickly, guys, um, a little bit of vocabulary in this part, and we're going to talk about the weather, el clima, weather. So in this case, la pronunciación acá, chicos, tenemos una excepción. ¿Qué significa? Les había explicado previously, anteriormente, que la TH la pronunciamos como. How do we pronounce the TH? Z. Z. We pronounce it as Z, but in Spanish, like in Spanish. So this word, esta palabra, is an exception. Why? Because even though, aunque tenemos TH, aquí ya no suena Z. Sino que suena a D. Weather. Weather. So this is an exception. Es una excepción. So pay attention to that. So in that case, you don't get confused. Es una excepción. So even though we have the TH right there, we are not going to pronounce it as Z. We will pronounce it as, as D. So we're going to say the weather, el clima. So today we're going to have also a little bit of vocabulary, as I was saying. And um, here we have, for example, ¿Cómo utilizamos el clima? Lo podemos utilizar as nouns, weather nouns. Cuando yo agrego la palabra da, for example, placid noun. When yo digo the rain, la lluvia. So in that case, es utilizado como noun. What is the type of the weather? What's the name of this weather? Rain. So when, when I say the rain, la lluvia, en este caso es weather noun, utilizado como sustantivo del clima, weather noun. Now, how do I use it as adjective? ¿Cómo lo utilizo como adjetivo? Normally, normalmente voy a utilizar el personal pronoun it, verb be, el verbo to be, Plus adjective, que en este, en este caso el adjective va a ser el clima. For example, si aquí arriba yo decía lluvia rain, para convertirlo a adjective le voy a agregar la i, rainy. 
So automatically, automáticamente, yo estoy diciendo, está lluvioso. It is rainy. So that's the difference. So in this case, it's no longer acting as a noun. This one, it becomes an adjective. Se convierte en adjetivo solo para, por agregándole la letra, the letter Y. Now, este mismo puede ser utilizado como verbo. ¿Cómo es eso? Once again, I am going to use, voy a utilizar the personal pronoun it, the verb be, plus la misma lluvia que tenía al inicio, rain, le agrego ing, ing, y yo digo it is raining, está lloviendo, it is raining, y aquí ya se convierte en verbo. Questions, preguntas, dudas. Arrepentimientos. No. Espero que esté claro, chicos. El día de mañana vamos a tener práctica. So, asumo que ese silencio es porque sí, todo está pero clarísimo. Y que si hacemos examen mañana, todos sacan 10 y nadie va a tener menos de 7. Yes. Ok. All right, so we're, we're going to move on then, and we're going to have here. Vamos a tener los tipos de clima. Cloud, nube. Sí, este es nube, cloud. ¿Cómo lo paso a un adjetivo? Cloudy, nubado o nuboso. Flood, inundación. Flood, flood. Fog, neblina. ¿Cómo lo paso adjetivo? Foggy, neblinado, foggy. Hail, um, what's, what's the name of, oh, granizo. Say hail, hailing. Es como un, um, how do we say this? Como cuando cae granizo, like hailing. Granizando. Granizando, that will be pretty much like that. Sabía si esa palabra existía en Spanish, but I guess it is. No, yo tampoco, pero digo. <laughs> granizar. So, oh, granizar, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's the one. Granizando doesn't exist, I guess, in Spanish. But granizar, I guess it does. So, uh, we have a hur hurricane. Hurricane. So, que es un huracán, hurricane. Now, we have ice. Es hielo and icy, como, um, it's like helado. No, no helado, sino like cuando un lago se congela. Icy, congelado, icy. Lightning, lightning le llamamos al rayo. Lightning. Rain, lluvia. Rainy, lluvioso. Raining, lloviendo. Rainbow. Rainbow is el arco iris, a rainbow. Snow, nieve, snowy, nevado, snowing, nevando. So storm, tormenta, stormy, tormentoso, sun, soleado, sol, sunny, soleado. So thunder. Thunder is el trueno. Thundery is, uh, how do we say this in Spanish? Like, Tronando. Tor, uh, does it exist? Existe esa palabra in Spanish? Tornando? Well, Está tronando. Tronando, exactly. Yeah, that's the one. Tronando, exactly. So, uh, tornado. We have a tornado, which is tornado. Tornado. And wind, yes, viento, windy, it's like ventar, no, vientoso. I don't know if that exists. Bien, ventarroso, like a lot of wind. Está, aquí hay mucho viento, windy. So heat, calor, and hot, caliente. Warmth, cálido, warm. Calidez. 
coolness, helado, cool, un poco uh, eh, cálido o bien o bueno. Cold, frío, and cold is frío. It, this, this one is the same. Freezing, freezing is congelado o, uh, or uh, es como es, um, haciendo mucho frío, like freezing. That's pretty much it. Now, um, I would like to have, before we go and to finish this part, I would like to have Jorge Luis to help me just read the first line, horizontal. So this one and this one and so on. Please. Cloud. Mm -hmm. Cloud. Mm -hmm. Cloud. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Fucking. Okay. Hail. Mm -hmm. Hailing. Okay. Hurricane. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, let's go with Felix. Ice. Icy. 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 Mm -hmm. Lightning. Okay. Rain. Rainy. Raining. Okay. Rainbow. 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 Mm -hmm. Snow. Snowy. Mm -hmm. Snowing. Thank you very much. Now, Patricia, let's go with you. Star. Storm. Mm -hmm. Song. Song. Mm -hmm. Thunder. 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 Okay. Tornado. Tornado. Uh, tornado. Mm -hmm. Wind. Windy. 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 No, windy. Okay. So now let's see, and we're going to finish with Julio. Julio, go ahead, please. Heat. Hot. Mm -hmm. Warm. Warm. Coolness. Cool, cold, cold, freezing. Freezing, thank you very much. That was a good pronunciation though. Now, um, guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I don't know if any one of you have any question before we go. Is there any question before we go or are we, are we okay with everything we had today? Are we okay? Yes, okay. All right, okay. so remember guys, please, tomorrow we have practice. Do not forget that. The practice is going to be from class number one until today's class, hasta la clase de ahora. So I'm not asking you to go to memorize. No le estoy pidiendo que se vaya a memorizar todo. The reason why we're gonna do practice is because Obviously, we are going to practice. Vamos a practicar, and we are also going to remember things that you probably already forget. Cosas que probablemente ya olvidar. But also, I will check if you remember some things or if you forgot some things, okay? Vamos a verificar también si se recuerda o ya se le olvidó. So please be ready for tomorrow. Once again, if you are not attending to the class, let me know in advance, okay? So you won't lost uh, your, your um, punctuality and your as attendance, okay? So that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to today's class and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.